going on YouTube? I know I've been neglecting this channel a little bit. I'm sorry about that, y'all. It's more fun to talk about the other stuff. <laughs> but, uh, so today I'm going to talk about the number one way to lose an account or to make a customer unhappy. And it's a cleaning thing, and that's dusting. Dusting is the number one thing. For, and it's also the easiest thing to do. Like, as far as cleaning the building, dusting is the easiest thing you can do. But for some reason, it's also the most overlooked thing. Because I guess when you're cleaning, you're so busy trying to make sure you get the bathroom nice and clean. Trying to make sure you dump all the trash cans, vacuum. You know, all the stuff that seems like the big stuff. And dusting just seems like a uh, like one of the small things. So you, all, you tend to overlook it. But... Nine out of ten times, nine out of ten times, most of the, uh, most franchise owners or business owners lose accounts because they're not dusting properly. And when you dust, you need to first off, make sure you actually have a duster. I mean, for low areas that you can hit, the microfiber rags usually work better than the duster itself. So you can go ahead and hit that off so that way you can control what you're doing so you don't knock anything over. You can kind of hold it with one hand and then wipe with the rag with the other hand. But... High dusting in particular, you're definitely going to need you a uh, extended uh, duster, a duster with an extension on it, so you can get on top of everything, top of high cabinets, refrigerators, uh, walkway seals, like um, on the top of doors. Uh, you also want to get uh, a number. Another thing too is when you got the blinds, close the blinds up and dust across them, and then open them back up. The blinds collect a lot of dust easily, and then. With it starting to warm up, summertime's coming. It's gonna be a lot more easier for the customers to see it as they go to open their blinds and they notice the sun reflecting out the dust, you know. So you want to be aware of that. Uh, like I said, when when I was in this business the first time around, I wasn't that good of a cleaner. So that was my number one problem was the dusting. So and I had other problems too, but dusting. I mean, my my accounts look hideous. Also, another one is uh. Look behind the computers in your accounts. If you haven't been dusting, there's going to be caked up dust back there. So make sure you get that They're on top of the computer speakers and all behind it is going to be a lot. And yes, that's your responsibility. And speaking of the responsibility, remember this. <clears throat> you are the professional, all right? If you see something in the account that look like it needs to be cleaned, nine times out of the ten, you need to clean it. Because who, if you don't do it, who else is going to do it? That's what you got to remember. Because I know it's easy to get in the habit of you see certain things, but you just feel like, well, I don't think I'm supposed to get that. So you just move, keep on moving. But just always have this mentality that if I don't get it, nobody else is going to get it. All right. So that way, even if you weren't supposed to get it, now it's like you going above and beyond. So you're going to get some extra credit. Or then if you're not sure about it, if you're supposed to get it, but you don't, and you don't want to uh, mess anything up. And simply ask the customer about it. That way you let them know that, they, that you're aware of what's going on. But don't be passive about things like that. Make sure you point it out to them and let them know, like, look, I saw that uh, you had this and this and that. So uh, I just wanted to check with you before I mess with anything. Like, for example, I got an account right now. They have a balloon that's been floating uh, in, the, in the ceiling in their kitchen for, like, uh, ever since Valentine's Day. It's a Valentine's Day balloon. And my wife was about to throw it away. And I told her, no, don't throw it away because that might mean something to somebody for it to be there that long. It's either that or they just can't reach it. So uh, what I did was I'm, I'm going to shoot them an email or I'm going to give them a call and ask them before I just go throw it away. So that's something to think about. But yeah, definitely the number one thing is dusting. So make sure you're looking at all the hot spots. Behind the computers is a good one. Also, along with the high dusting is spider webs. Always look for spider webs, because depending on where the buildings are, uh, certain buildings, like the, uh, they always have spider webs. So uh, just make sure you do those things. That's the number one thing. So that's my tip for the day. And also what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna get a schedule going on, all right? So every Sunday, I'm not gonna put a time on it, but I'm definitely gonna put a day. So every Sunday from now on, I'm gonna put a, a video up on this channel so you guys can, um, can know when to come check for videos on this channel and then for the other channel uh mr aj simmons i think i'm going to go ahead and, and start doing at least one video per day over there so uh and now I, if i need to do like a quick video over here 
before Sunday, then I'll knock it out. But uh, for the most part, the regular uploading schedule for this channel will be every Sunday. So you can look for me there. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing these videos. If you know anybody that uh, might need some help in the industry and you feel like this uh, channel can help them, make sure you refer them to me. All right? And uh, I appreciate you guys. Also, if you have a cleaning business or you started one or a franchise and you're thinking about getting to YouTube, do it. And let me know so I can shout you out and promote your channel too because I definitely help you out because my uh, my subscribers could use more than one, uh, you know, person to get advice from. If you got some, if you in the business, you got some knowledge, even if you're brand new, you know something. So uh, let me know about that. I'll shout you out. More than happy to. I'm just here to help people. So again, I appreciate y'all.